All right, you might have seen these before. These are magnifiers. Uh, some people call them loops, um, but I think the loop is really the one that you stick on your eye, like a monocle. But anyway, um, this one has a, a measuring graticle in it, and this one is just a regular... So these are kind of used for, you know, classically like stamp collecting or, or uh, print uh, evaluation, uh, things along those lines. Um, this one's nice and big, so you could use it maybe for coin collecting and stuff. Um, and uh, they weren't cheap. You know, the good ones, good ones, good ones were cheap. We'll be we'll be taking a look at this with a uh, with a uh, another magnifier that I just received. Um, so uh, this was sent into the channel. Um, it is a modern version of one of those. <laughs> uh, it's they call it a digital handheld microscope by APEXEL. Uh, this is the APL MS008, okay? So, uh, let's take a look at this one. All right, uh, so it has an LCD screen, and it looks like one of those things here on the end. And so you can set it on things, and it acts just like a, uh, a loop. So let's, uh, let's turn it on. Welcome. And there we go. Let me, uh, let me focus it. And... Yeah, we are looking at uh, looking at things. So, you know, it is, and it has a little a swivel here at the top, so you can make it uh, point towards your eye. So, yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, some people might know that over here, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Um, there's a there's a J50. So here's the here's the J5. Uh, uh, let's see, what's that? J1. Oh, that's a J10. J. One, yeah, it's kind of big, but if you go down, look at that. There's, there's a whole bunch of little USA 50, USA 50, and it's way down there. You, you can't see it with a naked eye. It's just disappeared in there. I, I love I love looking at money because there's all kinds of little hidden hidden gems in it. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I think this one has a... Yeah, so over here on the edges where it looks like there's just a... Uh, a decorative thing. There's actually uh, 50 on there. It says 50, 50, 50, 50. Um, if you look at a, if you look at a hundred dollar bill on the edges, uh, let's see here. There is a little, uh, a little mark here on the edge. Just looks like a decorative edge with like a little 100 in there. 100, 100, 100. So that's kind of fun. And I think at the very, very bottom, yeah, here. So. The very, very last ink below Franklin there, uh, it says USA, 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 USA. That's kind of that's kind of fun. All kinds of little hidden gems and uh, hidden gems and money. We can look at the color changing uh, color changing things. Let's zoom in here a bit. Oops, I've got to glare it out. I can push that up a bit. And yeah, move my camera there. So, uh, yeah, I should do a, I should do a uh, video on color changing money, color changing paint. You can put it on cars these days. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's interesting, huh? Um, so it has a camera and of course it can take video, it can take stills. Um, and there's a USB-C connection to charge it. And to dump the data out to your com out to com your computer and stuff. Now it is only one magnification. You can't. You can zoom in uh, digitally. So it does a yeah five x. Go back over here to something we've seen before. Yeah. So you can do a five x zoom digitally, and you can zoom back out. Uh, it has a built-in light source, which which is nice. You can get old-fashioned lens loops that have, uh, have uh, lights in them, but they're, they're fairly uncommon. My uh, dermatologist has one. <laughs> Maybe she, she should get one of these. Uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is, uh, let's see here, I'll show you Let's see here. I'll come over here and I'll take a picture. Okay, and I'll come down here and I'll take a picture. Okay, 
And uh, I wanted to compare uh, if uh, this makes sense for some people. Um, it, it, it doesn't balance, so unless the thing is straight up and down, it, 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 it's heavy forward. So you always have to have it in your hand, so that's, that's one disadvantage. One advantage, though, is that it uh, has a built-in light source, and it's always in focus because it's a contact, a contact measurement. So uh, that's nice, too. Once you focus it, then no matter where you go, it's in, it's in focus, okay? But I wanted to compare it to uh, other things that people might already have. So everybody's got a phone with a camera in it. And uh, you can get these little clip-on clip -on lenses. Let me, the camera's not in the right place. You can get these little clip-on lenses uh, that you put, you put over your camera. So I can stick that on there. And now I have an accessory, an accessory lens. Um, this is kind of a wide angle lens, so I have to remove I have to remove this one, and now it turns it into a macro lens, okay? So now, now I have a macro lens, and I can, uh, I can zoom in here, and look at that, uh, move you guys down. I can look at that USA, USA there, and I can use my, oops. Uh, now it's not gonna focus, just a second. Yeah, that's not working well. So you can see right away that there are problems with this. Uh, it it's hard to hold still. It's hard to get it to autofocus correctly. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's times one, and then if I zoom in. I can get to the USA, USA, USA. Actually, this is five, there's times six. So I'm actually magnifying it more than, 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 than this one. Um, so if you, you know, just need a magnifier, um, then, then one of these might work out okay. Um, these are super, super, super cheap. <laughs> and, uh, but you can see that it's, it's, um, uh, for bigger, bigger stuff, you don't need a lens at all. These uh, cell phones are pretty good at focusing up close now. You can see the little USA. Can you see the, let's see here, can you see the, the 100 over here? Uh, I didn't go over far enough. There we go. So there's the little, there are the little 100s over there. Um, and you have a lot of pixels on these. So, um, it is difficult. This is difficult to use, though, because it's always moving around and stuff. So if you just want to do something quick, I'd say, you know, maybe what you got is already. If you want something that's like a dedicated application, like if you're a stamp collector or you're always doing the same thing over and over and over again, um, and you, you, you just want to share it with a friend, maybe, um, and say, hey, you know, take a look at this. Um, or maybe somebody comes into your store with a, uh, a counterfeit bill and you can just take a look at it and you can say, hey, look, the printing on yours, you're not even duplicating that USA, right? Uh, that should be, that should be really good on a, on a, on a real bill. Um, there's some 100s over here. Uh, yeah, you could take a look at, uh, whether the ink is over the green or, or not and on a, on a real bill. Oops glaring again. On a real bill, the ink is over the green, but on a, uh, uh, a printed bill, they're going to be at the same level. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to detect whether your, whether your bill is counterfeit or not. So, but anyway, there you go. It's got a little, uh, it comes with a, a SD card. Oh, I've already inserted it. There's a little, little rubber door over here where the, uh, uh, where the card goes and the USB uh, C charging port is. Um, it does have a menu. I don't know if that's of any interest or not. Let's see. Uh, you know, change the resolution, you know, date, exposure, or, you know, all the normal kind of camera type stuff. So yeah, there you go. That was my review. Um, 
Before we end the review, let me tell you what else came in came in the box. Let me turn this off. So drain the battery. Um, you get a uh, US a USB C cord. You get a cleaning cloth. Uh, you get the SD card. You get a little you get a little bag to put it in. You get an instruction manual, and it comes with some slides. Oh yeah, let me show you one of these. It comes with some slides, which is kind of interesting because it's a top top down magnifier. But they but they threw in some uh, they threw in some slides. This will be fun to look at. Yeah, let's look at this one. So, uh, and if you're going to be looking at it, you probably should put it on a piece of piece of white paper. So we'll put it. Eh, I don't want to put it on that. Uh, let me get that the instruction instruction book here. We'll stick it on that to have a white have a white background. All right, turn it on. And uh, there we go. There's an ant. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Take a look at an ant. Okay. That's my review of the, let me get the part number right here, an APL-MS-008.